Hey there, chat. How you doing? Welcome to the channel. My name is Ruin. I run the place. How you doing? <laughs> Welcome to Off. A game that was recommended to me by some of you guys, and I'm very interested to see played. Well, mainly played by me, I guess. But anywho, let's, uh, take a look at this. I know nothing about the game, except that I was told it's like six hours some odd, but I don't know. It could be no time at all, but we're going to get into it. The translation team would like to dedicate this third and final version of the English off translation to the memory of Felix the Judge. Caution. It is possible that certain scenes in this game may prove shocking to an unwarned public. Or maybe not. The soundtrack and sound effects of Off are created by Elias Conrad Coldwood and are in a pro. Op uh, <laughs> and are an important part of the game. It would be a shame to play without them. Unproductive fun time. Well, well, well. Time to, uh, get this puppy going, huh? Your name is Ruin, correct? Yes. I'm a boy. I'm a girl, I'd rather not say. I'm a boy. Bonafide through and through. Welcome, Ruin. You have been assigned to being called the Batter. The Batter is on a mission. Be sure that it is accomplished. We will let you both out in Zone Zero. Good luck. For more information, find the one called the Judge. <laughs> Here we go. To move my body, use the arrow keys on your keyboard. To interact with the environment, use the space bar or the enter key. Okay. Well, let's begin. Zone Zero. There cannot be any living beings in Zone Zero. Hence, I deduce that you are a pure figment of my imagination. Nevertheless, I will introduce myself. I am the Judge, and I am aching to know your name, dear illusionary interlocutor. I am the Batter. I have been entrusted with a sacred mission. It is a pleasure, although it was not the body I was addressing, but the soul that it harbors. What is your name, Controller? His name is Ruin. He can't talk to us. However, he can see and hear everything. Even though you two are imaginary specter in my eyes, let it be said that I am delighted to meet you as well, dear Ruin. I believe we need your help. Many people are in need of my services. You know, everybody loves cats. We rub ourselves against their legs and purr in a most insistent manner. They adore that. I'm not talking about that kind of help. I see, but what sort of service could I offer to an ectoplasmic entity? I have a sacred mission to fulfill. I must purify the world. There is no objective more laudable than yours. I accept to serve you as a guide through this area, if it is only to be- if it is of any help to you. Thanks. Allow me to inform you that I find you quite tangible for an phantasmagorical being. Might you be in fact a person of flesh and blood? I think so. Then I was mistaken from the beginning. 
and you did not even interrupt me in my fanciful phantasms. This is relatively bizarre, I must say, for you are the first living being I was given to encounter in this place. I had incidentally concluded that Zone Zero was an empty land. It is all too obvious that I was led astray. However, there are exist no other there exist other zones, and in those territories, hostile individuals might attack you most violently. Your sacred mission will likely lead you into those lands. Would you like me to acquaint you with the art of violent confrontation? Yes, combat tutorial. This is the battle screen. As you can observe, you will find yourself placed at the right-hand side of the screen. Your opponent, however, in this case yours truly, will be located on the left, the correct place for a single combat. At the beginning of a combat, a choice will be presented to you. You have to decide between attack and auto. Naturally, Attack allows you to engage in the fight in the classical fashion. If auto is your choice, the computer will make the strategic decisions in your place, turning you into a simple spectator. But now it is time to make an attempt. Choose attack. Select the batter, then choose attack anew to slay me with your bat. Do not utilize the auto function. The computer will not restrain itself, and I fear I would die taking my secrets with me to the grave. Oh, so I bet you we could do something totally different by attacking this cat and hitting it with the auto function. Uh, attack. Peace. Excellent, dear sportive companion. Know that both the levels of the batter and that of his opponents determine the impact of your assaults. It is also possible for you to ad for your adversaries to slyly avoid the offensive moves you will exchange. Finally, on occasion your concrete will may allow you to release a critical strike, causing teeth to fly in heaps. But let us proceed. If you are willing to, you may have noticed that you have first chosen attack upon selecting the batter. A new window opened itself at the lower right-hand corner of the screen. There you have the choice between four new options. Attack lets you carry out a soul strike against a likewise soul adversary. Competence permits you to use one of your special talents. Objects lets you access the inventory you are presently carrying. Finally flees the option of the coward. While I dehort from this alternative, know that only the batter can may select it in his personal menu. So let us attempt to utilize an item. An item. Take this luck ticket and graciously use it on the batter's person. A luck ticket has been found. Impeccable. Your mastery of battle borders on brilliancy, my friend. But there is one thing we have not yet addressed. I am, of course, talking about competence. They are, generally speaking, special moves that trigger surprising effects. It may be that they are particularly powerful attacks, or such that they induce a resurgence of health points. Nevertheless, know this. Any use of competence leads to a consumption of competent points. So I suggest... So I suggest that you use your skills with parsimony. Once your CP are consumed, it will be impossible to carry out heavy assaults. And if... By some mischance, you happen to cross swords with a tougher opponent before recovering some CP. 
your victory will be uncertain. But let us try right away. Choose competence and try using wide angle, which will allow you to analyze your enemy. Analyzes the enemy's characteristics. The Judge, a cryptic feline of odd appearance, HP 300, CP 30. No weaknesses or resistances. <laughs> you now know not only all about my attributes, but also about the art of combat. About the wide angle, know that its analysis will always be based on the start of the battle. Thus it may accidentally analyze adversaries you have already knocked down for a long time. The confrontation ends, theoretically, when the health points of your team, or all of your opponents, fall to zero. Take good care of your health if you want a successful career in purification. From now on, you will be ready to dispose of all impure obstacles that dare appear in your luminous missions away. Well, supposing your intelligence is on the same level with your undeniable capability of dealing bat blows to an innocent cat. Be it as it may, your training has not reached its end yet. Let me ask you to follow me, if you still want me as your guide. We just go in these other things first. A luck ticket. It's impossible to get around this obstacle. Ooh. Quite peculiar. One, two, three, four. It looks like one of those Pokemon battle centers. Ah yes, to pass through. It will be necessary to use your cerebral organ correctly. You know the one bathing flabbily in your cranium. I think that these floating blocks correspond in some way or another to the symbols you can see on the wall. Alright. There we go. Nice, simple stuff. One, two, six, eight, two, three. Is there a problem, oh dear charming hero? I cannot do everything in your place. I am not your genitor, after all. Nonetheless, I may perhaps suggest, dare suggest to you, to activate some of these floating blocks more than once, if so required. So hurry, solve me this intriguing obstacle, and post haste, if you please. I wish to rejoin the ground floor as soon as possible. I think the weather's nice outside. One. Hmm. Okay. What are we doing wrong here? One. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Well, I don't understand. Hmm.
I might need to ask the cat for help. I'm already befuddled. Hmm. Anytime I touch something other than this one, I lose it. Wait. Wait. There's eight of them here. Oh my goodness. Activate one, activate two, then activate six. It's not the number of times. Goodness. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh-huh. Eight. Two. Three. Okay. <laughs> Finally, after all that effort, the long-awaited reward makes its entrance to the scene. of silver flesh has been found. Alright. So, four. Four, six? No. Four, four. Four, four. Seven. Four, four, seven. Hmm. What does it mean, chat? Seven. Oh wait, that's not seven. This is eight. Four, four, eight. Four, four, eight. Not eight, eight. Four, four, eight. Seven. No. Four, four, eight. Mm. Four, four, eight. Dag nabbit. There we go. Four, four, eight, two. Why? Four, four, eight, two, eight. Four, four, eight, two, eight. Mean. Four, four, eight. Four, four, eight, two, eight. Seven. Four, four, eight, two, seven. Zero. Four, four, eight, two, seven, zero. Sorry, four four eight two eight seven zero. Hmm, I should write that down. Mm hmm. All right. Four four eight two eight seven zero. Okay.
Here we have an accessory that will prove especially useful to your purifying quest. Dear enlightened student and supportive friend. It is a cube floating in the air, as you have probably noticed. Nevertheless, you will be able to differentiate it from all of its ilk. By the contrast of its clashing colors, assaulting your gaze with bad taste and defying any sensible course of plastic arts. Do not judge it too quickly, however, for despite its criticizable appearance, this red cube is of undeniable use. Aside from restoring the entirety of your health and competence points, it is capable of saving your progress and sending you to the nothingness. By the way, guys, I am interested to know what did I miss in that last puzzle? The nothingness is a plague of transition outside of space itself, where you can travel from one point to another at the speed of light. Now I invite you to your try for yourself, in order to discover the locations more populous than this deserted land. Open your wings, my dear companion, and fly toward the following zones without hesitation. Your only enemy is the fear that will grab you. Okay. Do not worry yourself. I too travel much between the different zones of the world. Perhaps we will come to meet again. Ah, by the by, take this. This item of a curator's name will be the key that I shall permit to enter the zone one. Have I clarified that you can, at any moment, consult your inventory and characteristics by pressing the escape key? A Leo card has been found. Okay. Okay, this is all this different stuff. Uh, state is pure, nickname is purifier, class is savior. Health points and competence points completely restored. Save the game. Return to nothingness. Back to the nothingness? Yes. No world map. Oh, I don't like this. I'm going to give you guys just a hair more sound so you can hear what's going on here. Whew. There's zone one. Health points and competence points completely restored. Oof. That nothingness was a trip and a half right there. <laughs> Just a second. We're gonna blink in and out of the screen a little bit. Trammy number one is a very useful means of transport to get to the different areas of zone one. Hello? I see. 
All right. Well, you know what? Let's go ahead and save this game. And... Maybe, maybe, maybe... We should go ahead and call it. Thank you all so very much for watching. I hope you had a lovely time. Please leave me a like, comment, subscribe, and all that jazz, because I love to hear from you. Um, woo! This is an interesting game. I like the little cat friend, and uh, I love doing his little voice. I hope we run into him some more. The nothingness spooked me good. Um, I do want to know what did I miss on that puzzle, because I had to brute force it, and I don't feel like I should have. I feel like I should have found something there to do it right, but I couldn't find anything. Um, but yeah, whew, very exciting, very exciting. Um, and the nothingness really pulled me in and was like, man, this is creepy, I hate it. But, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to what this game has to offer. Thank you very much for recommending it to me. I shall see you in the not too distant future. I know you're gonna miss me, but try not to miss me too much, okay? Bye.